At the time of writing this video, the only information that we had was from a few streams, which will be linked in the description. Since then, more information has come to light via Henry Resilient Stream, which again will be linked down below in the description. I am going to be covering all of these because I think it needs to be talked about and especially some information that has come to light. So this might be a longer video than what I had planned, but I wanted to put that at the very beginning. I wouldn't be making this video if it wasn't for the response by Aaron from Bat in the Sun over the Deoxy 360 video that happened, as well as some of the comments made by Aaron in both video and written form. If you don't know who Aaron is, then he runs the YouTube channel and Facebook page Bat in the Sun. At the moment, he is finishing off The Legend of the White Dragon, a project that he and the late Jason David Frank worked on. If you don't know who Jason David Frank is, then he played Tommy Oliver, who was the Green and White Mighty Morphing Power Ranger, Red Zeo and Turbo, and later the Black Dino Thunder Ranger, and Lord Draken in the small trailer that he funded, produced, etc, etc. Lord Draken is the evil version of Tommy Oliver in the Boom Studios comics, this is a major thing for later on in the video. Now, we're going to assemble all the key players in this video. Deoxy360, it's Francis Baby, and Aaron from Bad in the Sun. Now, before we begin, I'm going to play the clips used in the entirety only because Aaron likes to say that they have been edited and I want to make sure that there is full context here. If I had to play the full interview from start to finish, then we would be here all the time and I don't want to keep you here all day. All videos that are used are under fair use and will be linked in the description so you can go back and watch them. Let's get all of this started. Many times Aaron has come on the record mentioning many things that he has said regarding JDF and at times things that always don't match up. I'm not going to go through all of them as Deoxy360 did an excellent video documenting it which will be linked in the description down below. The main thing that comes up are the following. Aaron throwing shade at Amy Jo Johnson, the original Pink Ranger, the Bat in the Sun Green Ranger costume, JDF hating Lord Draken, and JDF not get getting credit for Soul of the Dragon. Deoxy brings up all the points. On the 18th of August, Aaron posted this. There are a lot of talkers and haters online. This guy posted a full video of false information and edited my interview, so a lot of details were missing. So I reached out so he could ask me directly and he won't respond. Liars and cowards. Soon after, he did update it to say, update, this YouTuber has reached out to me and changed the video title. All good now. He will also be doing a follow-up video now that he has details. Now, you would think that if he had to update this, he would then delete it and make a separate post without any pictures, but no. Aaron decided to leave this up and I'll talk about this a little bit later. But since this has all been cleared up with Henry's stream, it has now been deleted. Now, at the time I wrote, if Deoxy is going to change his video title, then you could delete the post as now there is no smoke happening. So why would you have kept it up there? Before the update, Aaron sent out a message to Deoxy. The first one was this. Would you like to interview me? I saw you are making assumptions and accusations. If you don't know, Deoxy is from Australia, while Aaron is from the States. There is a definite time difference. Also, I'm guessing that Aaron worked, as I know Deoxy does. So Aaron didn't take that into account. A follow-up message came through. I see you are leaving me on red. You can interview me and ask the question instead of accusing me of falsity, or I will have my lawyer contact you. Your choice. Aaron talks about this in the live stream. We'll look at that in a bit. But first of all, if you read that your lawyers are getting involved, then your mind first goes to, well, I'm going to be sued or the legal team will ask for a takedown. Either way, this doesn't look good at all. And at the time, people called him out. Mr. Awesome. Bro, why lawyers? Myself. Interesting to see how it jumps to legal actions. You don't get lawyers involved, not unless you're going to use them. You can't force interviews. Also, this now puts a massive spotlight on you as people will start digging into your past. 
Lawyers cost money, so why bring them in? The Global Nerds Podcast. Um, dear Mr. Aaron at Bat in the Sun, a threat to be interviewed? You sure that's something you want to put out there? Aaron did actually respond to Global Nerds, and they say, I am making myself available to him to clarify bias accusations, to explain himself, but if he chooses to ignore me, then I will have my lawyer reach out so he can clarify himself. Global responded with, so you think a threat of violence, threat of attorney, is crazy for truthful reporting is absurd. If you want to cover up your stories you put out, threat for an interview if fools work. Put out your own story and see how the narrative resonates. The truth always shines. Bat in the Sun responded, Generally when you say false things, a lawyer gets involved. I'm giving him a chance to explain himself before action is taken. Global Nerds responded, So you think he's defaming your work? Brand? Bruh. You are damaging your own reputation. Nothing he said was false and you know it. He spoke on all information that has been made public. Just because it's not positive doesn't mean it's defamation. Come on dude, we spoke before Aaron. Put your boss hat on and get out of the sandbox because you're buttered. You can't force your way into an interview to speak to the fandom regarding this Legend of the White Dragon thing. Henry Resilient also joined in and said, At Bat in the Sun, said interview with me or I'm going to sue. Weep. Bat in the Sun responded, I am making myself available to him to clarify his accusations, to explain himself, but if he chooses to ignore me, then I will have my lawyer reach out. I never threatened him with to sue. There you go, putting words in people's mouths. I responded, what I don't understand is that you're speaking to your lawyers. What will they say? Hey buddy, mind speaking to my client? Or is it going to be, hey, take this down or we'll sue? Either you're trying to silence Deoxy or your lawyer is going to chat to him about Power Rangers. Responding to Bat in the Sun's reply, Henry goes, you are going to tell your lawyer he exposed you? He hurt your feelings? No lies were told. Deoxy owes you nothing. You have a channel, cut a video. You are coming off as entitled. Threatening a YouTuber with a lawyer is weak as fuck. Bat in the Sun said, I hope you are both in the live stream tomorrow. It'll be fun. Henry responds with, I will be there. Can't wait to hear how you justify threatening a content creator with a lawyer for exposing you. Bat in the Sun responds, Exposing what exactly? Please bring up all of it tomorrow during the live. Lawyers get involved with lying or false information is being said. Henry responds, What is false? You were defamed? I hope you have these answers ready. You said JDF was not credited for Soul of the Dragon. He is 100% credited. Maybe you are upset Bat in the Sun was not credited. My final response, I would pretty much say this has credit to JDF on here, and I'm guessing Inside would have more. I would think seeing this on the cover is giving credit, and with this, I showed an image of Soul of the Dragon, which has with special consultant Jason David Frank on the actual cover that you can actually see. We now come to the live stream between it's Francis Baby, Henry Resilient and Aaron. Countless times that Jason said that you guys had pitched it or were trying to pitch it. Um, and it was he was very into this aftermath thing that later, I guess, was an issue or Saban brought it down and which is one of the reasons why he was very disappointed because he would want like you said to offer you know do it for free or let's do this let's do that let's do a more adult um Power Rangers and it was always shut down but then you know then they shot then they had the comic books which were another adult theme well more adult theme and I think the elephant in the room was that after we got Lord Dragon, right? Um, which you weren't part of, correct? Correct. No, that was not the that whole. I was not part of that. So Lord Dragon was filmed by Jason and I believe Kyle Higgins, mm -hmm. and it was an instant hit. He he, I think they spent. Um, he himself funded the project, yeah. and. Um, it became a hit. Everyone loved it. I believe the trailer got over 4 million views or something like that. But then we know that later on in life, Jason didn't want anything Lord Dragon. Also, I think it is very, very important to look at that Lord Dragon footage. I own the digital footage. 
all we have to do is send a cease and desist to take it down IGN and to remove it from all necessary platforms. I own it for once in my life and we can just tell them to take it down. Also, I need Nicole, you to reach out to everything that has Lord Draken on it. IGN, everybody that has Lord Draken. I want to send a letter that I own the digital rights and they must pull it off their channel. I don't want no Lord Draken stuff out there. Hey, Nicole, I'm very, very shocked to see the Lord Draken Shattered Grid trailer on my channel. We discussed this a long time ago, and I don't know why it's on my freaking channel. I was going through it, and there's a lot we need to organize. Take that off. Delete the whole damn thing. Delete everything from there. I literally just watched it today from someone else's phone. Can right. you elaborate on that? Well, I think it goes back to a lot of just Jason is always being taken advantage of or betrayed, um, you know, because me and Jason pitched a very, very, very similar story about a dark Lord dragon who traveled across the morphing grid, killing Rangers and assembling their um, powers to basically dominate uh, the world and, 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 for you know in, in a nutshell but um uh he was hoping that that would turn into something because he always wanted something that he owned that he had control over because jason was like i said always taken advantage of and and he saw what the fans wanted and he always wanted to vocalize that and give them what they wanted you know because there's they're usually and, and this is with any sort of uh, IP, there's a lot of times a disconnect between the owners and the money people and the fans and what the fans want. And Jason was out there on the front lines all the time. So he saw uh, Lord Draken as a way for him to kind of bridge the gap and for us to get out there. And even though we weren't credited for it, um, he felt like, well, this could be a, a way to um, to kind of get get his get us on board and get his name out there and have him a little more control and then that project did not do that because and he was very smart about this though is because and you know all this is that you know he paid for everything so he owns everything in terms of all the video and all that kind of stuff and he helped um you know produce and usher in that video and then got no credit for that and then they went off and and used the character in ways to make figures and all stuff which he wanted to be a part of because as you know also everyone knows that he never got any percentage of any of the figures from you know any of the Saban stuff so he wanted he was like i've helped create this character and i want to be now a part of it and i want to feel like it's you know something that's more personal to him and none of that came to fruition now at the time before this happened we all kept seeing aaron at the time speaking for jason now we've had a few voice clips released but at the time the fans were angry that things were being said with no receipts at all i gave aaron the idea of making an artsy video to drop with all these voice notes in there so everybody could hear and not just little bits here and there the way that i can see it would be just like a blight, a dark room and then suddenly like a light from above just opens up two chairs you tammy or jenna whoever just sit down and go this is it and then titles pop up like say uh boom studios and then literally you just sat there going push the button and then just letting the phone just literally do its thing and then you kind of do it after that's kind of, i think that would be kind of interesting because not from a, a like a, a funny type of thing but it's everything's out then because if say for example I don't know, you, you, you pitch a story or you've pitched a story to Boom and it was like, what happens if Tommy ate loads of waffles? And then suddenly you find out that there, Tommy's eating uh, tacos or something. Then at least you can prove and say, this is what we said. This is the date. This is what it was said. And then you can go, we've got nothing to hide. So then people can refer to it and you can just go, watch this video, timestamp, one minute 32. And then people can go, we've heard that from JDF himself. We've heard it from you. And it gives more of a kind of a, 
an option for people to go like, okay, do I believe this? Do I not? Does Tom, does JDF like tacos? I don't know. But at least we've got that out there properly. And I think that's what maybe some of the fandom wants to I, see. I agree. And if you want, I can even, I mean, like you guys can, I, cause I, like I said, I, I even put it on cause I worry about the backlash and I worry about it being perceived wrong. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. And it's like, uh, I'm trying to figure that, which I think those are all good ideas that you said. And I can even privately just message you guys these audios and you can listen to it and you can let me know what you think the best thing is. Because I really don't want to upset anyone. I actually want to just give my friends truth and then just be done with it. You know what I'm saying? So to be fair, you do have a fiduciary responsibility to the investors to get as much money as you possibly can for the movie. Is that yes, correct? Yes, but it's correct. Correct. Okay. But also like most, most investors in hollywood are greedy jerks and they will gut the movie or make decisions that are purely a financial and our executive producer who has invested millions into the movie is okay, that uh chris chris, chris j. j okay yeah he's invested millions into it um plural and he is happy with just breaking even i mean he is okay with even having a little bit of a loss he preferred obviously make a profit uh, we all would, so Jen and Tammy could make some. But his main goal, unlike a lot of Hollywood producers, you know, they just want to greed, 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 money, money, money. Who cares? Who cares? He wants to, and and just like, which was so nice, um, Francis, at the end of the interview we did, you said, you know, thank you for loving Jason because you you saw how many people used him and didn't really love him. Uh -huh. um, I tell Chris that all the time because Chris – you know, grew up being a big Power Ranger fan and he saw Saban and Boom and Hasbro take advantage of him and never appreciate him. And he's like, I'm going to believe in Jason all the way and I want to make his vision come true. So he's all in. He's all in. If we can make some money back, great. That's wonderful. We have to at least try for that. But we're not going to sacrifice quality of the movie and we're not going to rush quality of the movie based upon some sort of financial, um, you know, prof or anything like that. So it's it's a fine balance and you can vilify a lot of people in that process but if you really know what is actually going on it's like to say you know that we're sitting on it or not working on it is you know me and chris have these conversations about some of the fans getting mad at us and we're like all we do like chris's blood pressures through the roof you know people like see me like whoa aaron looks like you've aged 10 years and four years and i was like all we do is work on this movie like it's this movie is so important to us that it is perfect and it's great and you know it's not going to be some giant marvel movie that makes, you know, a uh, hundred million dollars or anything, or, or look like a hundred million dollars. But, you know, we're hoping it to look a little, a little above CW, even though, you know, some of their budgets are higher than ours. Some of them are not. Uh, but so the quality, the quality is the most important thing. Okay. Yeah. Um... Now this is a huge thing as well, as Aaron talks about his actions online and that the investors are fine with what he says. But I wanted to add this in because I think it's important. I saw something like that. Like he was playing in a line. He's like, look at what he's doing. And someone's like, why didn't you just respond to him and talk to him? And I was like, yeah, why didn't you just do that? Well, one, he doesn't owe you a response. And two, you did threaten a, a lawyer uh, if he didn't interview. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. That's how, I mean, that's how, I mean, a lot of people, I don't think I understand. That's how that works in, in the okay. industry. You know, like so, that's, that's the advice I get from the lawyer, because basically if someone is, is calling you a liar or whatever, it's best to say, hey, my lawyer is going to reach out. Now, someone put out the word sue or whatever, which I didn't say that. But what happens, a lawyer will reach out and be like, hey, it's basically like a, a mediator to make sure that things don't escalate. Although people, I think young fans don't know that's kind of how it works in the industry. OK, so do you feel like Deoxy lied about you? Uh, I mean, his headline is Bat in the Sun lied, question mark. And then if you read all the comments, everyone just is agreeing with him that I'm like garbage. So is that a yes or a no? Like, do you think Deoxy lied about you? I think I think he used information to betray things that were incorrect. Is that yes or no? I'm like, uh, all right, l l let's go to another question. Now, to me, this confuses me. You have someone in the film industry who knows slang like, let my lawyer get in contact. Let them do the talking. But yet, Deoxy isn't in the film industry, so how would he know what you meant? To anyone seeing this and how the YouTube landscape works, normally when you say lawyers, it means either I'm suing you or you're going to be silenced. Not everybody works in the film industry. Also, seeing Aaron dodge the question on did Deoxy lie was so interesting and so 
frustrating. What did he okay. say was false? Because you posted specifically that, and I could read the post or I could share the post. Uh, you said there are a lot of talkers and haters online. This guy posted a video full of false info and edited yeah. my interview. So a lot of details were missing. So yeah. what was false in his video and what details from your interview were missing? It's kind of like a two part question. So, okay. So that's, I'd have to go back and watch it again. I, I I watched it and I'm very busy and this stuff. I know it's like a big deal to you guys. I know it seems like a really, really big deal. You guys like think about it all the time. I don't. So he said like a lot of stuff he said about boom and, and Hasbro and Amy uh, and stuff that I posted like that stuff was just all like a lot of information was missing. And like he took out a lot of the story so I have to read the comments again. I try to respond to them because I, I live in the moment because I'm busy doing stuff. That's why I respond really quick because I'm like so, I'm present. And I so you didn't watch the video. So did you, no, did you did. watch his video? You, so, yeah, okay, so you, you watched his video, but you don't know off the top of your head what was false or what was missing from your original that he <laughs> manipulated. I, I've, if you ask me the questions, like I said, it had to do with stuff about Amy. It okay. Had to do stuff okay. about like, like Jason not like, oh, he was credited, but I'm like, but he wasn't really sure. credited. Okay, um, so... And, you stated that jdf yeah. was not credited for soul of the dragon in correct. your interview that was a correct statement however correct. the oxy unearthed proof that jason was credited so would that make your original statement a lie no so what i was saying in the original is that jason was not created as being a co-creator of the project and Whoa. for those people in the industry um you didn't no 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 you if you're saying that if now you're trying to switch your original interview to hey he wasn't created a, he wasn't credited as a co-creator that's different from saying he was not credited at all because now you're misleading fans to think that hey they just stole this idea from jason and then without deoxy putting out this video i don't think we'll have this interview where you're saying oh he wasn't credited as a co-creator so i probably left that out and that was my mistake and i should have um said that he cooked but when i was talking about it because the whole topic was about how don't roll your eyes henry i'm, I'm uh, just saying you said he's a liar and i'm like well he didn't lie in his video he his no, video's true here, here, here's how you're mis mis portraying the truth when me and francis had the conversation we were talking about how boom stole ideas that we created right. and i go jason wasn't credited so what happens is if you just go jason wasn't credited you're like well he got credit and i was like but if you take that first part out where I was talking about how we created it and he wasn't credited for it, I go, then it looks like I'm lying. But I wasn't lying. You just took part of what I was saying. And that's the point I'm saying. So when we talked uh, on there, I said that we created a bunch of this stuff and Jason wasn't credited for it. He was credited as a consultant, which also just to put into reference real quick, in the industry, when people are labeled as a consultant, that's like you being written off as if you haven't really done anything. But it, as we fans, we're taking this at face value. If you say he wasn't credited and you don't um, uh, come back to say, hey, he wasn't credited as a co-creator, then we're right. and, and we're, and, we're and, weaponized against Boom Comics to think, hey, they just stole this shit from a lot of people's favorite hero, a lot of people's so here, favorite ranger. Right. But OK, so here Francis brought up an email, I think. Right. Yeah. So this I you know what 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 the what happened was we were talking right we were talking flowing what I, I knew i personally knew what aaron was talking about because i knew that jason had more of a an effect um more of just a consultant in soul of the dragon but you know it's we were just we didn't go in depth we were just talking we we're trying to get through all the points but i understood that right but I I understand where Henry's coming from because it makes it seem like he wasn't credited at all. So of course you go to the back of Soul of the Dragon and there is a of course a credit as a consultant. And you know the good thing that Aaron speaks about, hey, like the day before it came out, I got an email and they basically said that they weren't going to credit you know Aaron and Jason and that they were going to give Jason and this is the email they only um gave jason uh let's say a bs to me right a bs uh credit because they 
had to, they wouldn't, they didn't want to get on Jason's bad side. At the end of the day, if Jason would have been like, hey, I worked on Soul of the Dragon and I didn't get not, not one credit, people would have probably lost their minds. And let me just go through the email. It says, hi, Aaron. Thanks for checking in. A quick update on the OGN. The book, which has been titled Power Ranger Soul of the Dragon, has significantly changed shape over the last several months and become something wholly unique, a story about Tommy Oliver. Um, that explores all of the. Did I skip something? A story about. As a nice, that's what the story was all about. They changed it yeah. to what our pitch was. To what our pitch was. A story about Tommy Oliver that explores all of the different Ranger personas he's assumed over the years. Considering how far this project has evolved, and how new and unique it has become, Boom has an obligation to reflect those changes in the crediting of the series. This means that we will be focusing on the primary creative staff only that said in all transparency will likely reach out to jason david frank to discuss likeness which could result in some kind of specific credit to be determined suffice it to say i'm not gonna read the whole thing but suffice it to say i want to thank you for your passion please know that the door remains open for future power rangers discussions as well as other kinds of creative to me this means that you had a you had obviously they spoke to you guys which is i mean you and i know and i know jason has spoken there's countless interviews where jason speaks about you know going and giving these ideas and then never getting credit or then never getting anything out of it so here they're saying they're only giving jason credit because of his likeness not because of the input that he put in the soul of the dragon this would have been right. and, and, and if it was in further. the interview here, right, here's an actual text from Jason that you can see right here if you want to screenshot or whatever, and I'll read it to you. Let me see basically, I can zoom in. Hold on. I'll say, um, still, uh, still pissed they took our names off it. You know, it was us who went to Boom to get it started. And Jason replies, uh, they put my name on the front cover uh, like some BS consulting to sell books. He goes, they did the up. same thing with Amy. There you now. go. This is a text from Jason, and then he's you know saying, I don't trust Brian for all this sort of stuff. So you can see that Jason was not happy with that and it was just some BS garbage. So that's my thing is, and, and really my intention is Jason was hurt by that because he's like, I had this idea, I want this. He goes, why can't it say story by us? And I was like, and with a lot of stuff, I, you know, it'd be cool if my name's on there, but at the same time, I could see it. It affected Jason in a different way than it affected me. And I was like, I want him to have that recognition. He, he put this all together, you know? And that's why it's very frustrating. I was like, why isn't he giving credit okay and by credit i mean a co-creating credit but that wasn't in the video so when you got a youtuber who's making a video off of what's publicly available at the moment and you right, say right. he wasn't credited and then he's like oh he's credited and you call him a liar you said he's he's lying on you and i'm like which is well, why which is why i reached out to him and said hey let's have a conversation so i can but, express all the details so he didn't lie on you to be fair to clear deoxy's name he did not lie on you he on that one, he he's manipulating the truth. But he didn't what know was the truth? truth? That, that, what what truth what, was out there at the time for him to know that? Oh, Jason was not credited as a co-creator. What what truth is he manipulating? If you listen to me and uh, Francis' interview, we were talking about him creating it. So, but I, I'm not I also we here to talk about Deoxy and his yeah, yeah. silly little video. But um, oh come but, on, man. that wasn't a silly video. It was it was a it was a great video. I mean, it's a great video. Sure. I mean, it's fun. It's fun not to watch. Not to Aaron, obviously. Well, I mean, it's it's against Aaron. But let's let's not digress because we have limited time. I think that a lot okay. of people, right? Um, no, this is a huge thing. You can't change your story to fit the narrative and be like, oh, well, they lied. All the public information is there in one video. Deoxy shouldn't have to go through hours of footage to find one small piece of information that might not lead to anything. But if you're claiming that JDF didn't get credit and now you're changing it to co-credit, the story doesn't add up. Also, we have to remember the general public, like myself and you, don't have access to this information because we aren't close to JDF. We can only go off what has been given to us. If you say that JDF didn't get credit and we found out that he did, we question what information we have been given. If you choose to move the goalposts, then that's not fair. Deoxy 
didn't lie. Also saying you can't remember what was said in the video shows to me that there is more to it or you don't know what you said in the video. And when you say that he's lying and you go out and tell your 1.2 million fan base that Deoxy's video is full of false information and edited wrong, then what info did he get wrong when you're not giving out the correct information to begin with? What what Henry's trying to say is we we didn't go in depth into the, what we were, even though we were mentioning about creating we didn't go in depth right with with that and um, because we we didn't expect um, I mean I personally personally didn't expect that people were gonna like chop it up and dissect it but it, yeah. in, in reality it's good that someone comes off and actually you know scrutinizes things because then it will learn to uh, make things better right. And no, then, and I love know, it. Not I to, love not to, not to um, push forward, but this so, is actually um, from something that you and Jason created. Rise yeah. of the also, for, for, Dragon. Okay, for the record, for one the more record, question. Henry. One more question. One more question. If okay, Deoxy well, doesn't give you an interview, are you going to send lawyers at him? I wish he would respond. I think it's kind of cowardice to not. Um, but I'm glad that he posted the video. I, you have to understand that I think this that whole thing is, is, very, very is, huh? I said that does not answer the question. Are you going to send lawyers at Deoxy if he never interviews you? If he says, you know what, Aaron, no, 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 no. He doesn't no. need first, Deoxy to interview him. He's answering right that's now. That's what I, I said. No, no, no. But if he if he would to further use information to paint a bad picture that's untrue, which is defamation of character. I could have, yes, I could reach out. That's why I'm like, what is your, essentially, when I reached out to him, I was like, what is your goal here? Is your goal to just, you want to answer stuff or do you want to actually put down the brand and put me down? I go, what are you after? That's why I, I reached out to him, but I didn't threaten him with anything. I was like, if you don't answer and you keep doing this, I'm going to have to like have my lawyers reach silence out to him. I didn't, you said silence. I didn't I, say I know, silence. I, but that, that's typically how it works. You, if we, if, come if on, you, you, you've been in this game long enough. If you go on and lie and you made accusations about me, Henry, and said things that were totally untrue, factually, I could have my lawyers go out and sue you. Absolutely. You but so I, he I, went I off what was publicly available. And publicly available, you said JDF wasn't credited. That's a, yes, that's a truthful that's statement. Now, today you're saying, well, he wasn't given a co-credit co-creator credit correct and i should have been i should have been clear on that but also if you listen to the whole interview that's what we're talking about i i would love to talk more about deoxy about you saying that uh boom comics took your iteration of the green dragon in a dodgy way can you like explain that because he showed that you guys were ecstatic about being in the comics from your we, post oh very excited we are very excited so and, how did they and, Go ahead. How did they dodgy, dodgily take your iteration of the Green Dragon, which is actually uh, right here? Right. So I have I can actually show you emails from Boom that I basically when they, when it when it appeared in comics, um, me and Jason were all excited. We're like, oh, it's so cool. It's in there. What an accomplishment. And then I reached out to Boom and I said, hey, love it. This is so cool. Um, can you send me all these covers? You know, how are you guys going to credit us? And then Boom was like, I don't know what you're talking about. And I was like, what do you mean you don't know what we're talking about? I go, you're using our, you, you used our costume. And they're like, I don't know what you're talking about. What are you, what are you referencing? And I was like, what do, you, what do you mean? I was like, I'm confused. So I'm friends with Dan Mora, who drew all that and was mm -hmm. hired to design it. And I went to Dan. I go, hey, Dan, how did this come about? And he's like, oh, Boom reached out to me and says, please adapt the Bat in the Sun comic book design or uh, beatdown design in the comic books. I go, Boom and Hasbro told you that? And he's like, yep, Boom told me that, which I have screenshots of all this. So I was just like, so I was like, Boom, what, like, I have your artist saying that you used ours as, that was the point of it. So I was like, what are you doing? Just, I'm like, me and Jason don't want any money. I don't want any money. I don't care about money. I go, just credit. And once again, I can see Jason is, mental health is, is falling apart. And I was like, this would be a good win for him. You know, it's cool for me too. Um, but I was like, but, just say it was credited. Just credit it. And then, you know, have him sell the books. That's all he wants. He just wants to be credited in what he's doing. And that's why I'm saying it's very dodgy. Okay, so they wasn't credited. But if they bought the – if you license it to Hasbro, right? Mm. You license the Hasbro probably in perpetuity so they could use it for forever, right? Uh, to the to the game. So we, lose, we license it to uh, – I believe it's actually Lionsgate who owns that game. Okay. 
So, so that's, but, that's how I think how it gets, I think it's so long or not. I forget, but that's how it works out. So if they took your idea and didn't credit you, you could technically mm-hmm. sue them, correct? Or is it because they, you, they got the license from Hasbro who did pay you for the idea that they don't have to talk to you to use the, Um, You know, the I don't image. know. I'm not a big fan of suing people. I, I've never done it. I don't want to do that because they say that when you, you know, Confucius say if you, if you seek revenge off someone, you know, prepare two graves, one for the person you're seeking revenge off. On so I'm not a big fan of actually like doing that. Um, I showed my lawyers all the stuff about the Green Ranger costume, Soul of the Dragon, Draken, and the lawyer was like, yeah, you can sue them. He goes, you're not going to get any money out of it because comics make so little money. And he's like, it's going to end up costing you so much money. And I was like, I don't really want to do that. And it's just a lot of time. I'd rather just create positive things than do that. My biggest thing is I just, and, and recently what's kind of funny is that Boom even reached out to me recently to, to, they were doing a Kickstarter and they wanted to put a lot of Jason stuff in there. And I said, in, um, I said, just credit Jason. I go, just credit Jason. And they were like, no, we can't do that. And I was like, why? I like, he does, we don't want any money, like no money. Just give him the credit. You can even leave me out of it. I don't care. Like, I just want my friend to be acknowledged for his love and passion for these projects that he is clearly affected, you know? And so that's what I'm saying. It's very dodgy. Okay. All right. Uh, does that make actually, sense? That, that, did that make sense? Are you happy with that answer? Uh, I mean, it, it, I, I would love to know this to the extent of how, how much Hasbro owns of the image, because the way it was explained to me that uh, Boom uh, has access to everything that Hasbro owns. So if you license them, the you know I don't you know I don't know that I'm trying not not to get too much up in contracts but if you license that iteration of the Green Dragon to Hasbro in perpetuity or for a specific amount of years and Boom is working with Hasbro and they can use any Power Ranger design as they see fit then technically they would not have to credit you or credit Jason because they got the and, license and that's from true. Hasbro and that's true and there's not there's, there's nothing I don't think there's anything untrue about that what I would say is and this is just among respect among people is when i reached out to to the people at boom and i said hey you're using our design it looks super cool can you send us some comics can you give us credit and for them to be like i don't know what you're talking about and i was like you can say hey we we're not going to credit you because we legally don't have to but everyone's loving the design it's so cool like great job and be like all right the just the total blow off and then speak to dan and dan's like no he totally told me to do that and i was like well like why it just adds to all the the shadiness and dodginess that and, boom, and let's Hasbro's always also done. Add what Aaron was saying, like it wasn't about money. It wasn't like pay me for the costume yeah. or whatever. It's about acknowledgement. And I think what Aaron is saying, right? What I know Aaron is saying is that Jason was very about appreciation of you know getting the pat in the back and he never got that yeah that yeah. costume like i said that i don't, don't want to say costume but that um design design was probably the most cosplayed ranger right after you guys introduced it right mm-hmm. and it was now we know about the design and how aaron feels on this but deoxy does mention that in the power rangers play box saban and hasbro do have access to that design. Now this one here is the smoke and gun. I had to search high and low for this one because I distinctly remember this post when it was first announced. Now one of the things that Aaron brings up in the interview is that Boom Studios stole the design for the Green Ranger suit or they tweaked it and they didn't credit them and they're upset about that. And you know from your Green Ranger versus Ryu the iconic new suit came out that yes. was later and uh, was it canon where they you were they were using it did they use it in the comic books i believe so um it was officially in the video games we had to go through a kind of a whole like licensing thing for that so that's a playable character in the, in the um video games and then boom introduced it in the comic books in a very kind of like kind of a dodgy way um where it it was very similar and when i spoke to dan mora um who designed who, who kind of interpreted our outfit in the comic books he said that that was the whole reason and was the the main influence and that's what boom wanted now if we go back to 2020 july 14th there is a facebook post from bat in the sun and i'm going to read it out and i'm going to show it on screen here it is Our Green Ranger design has made it into the comics. 
Pretty cool. It's always nice to see our ideas in print. Note, Hasbro has the license to use this version of the suit as per agreement we made. Smiley face emoji. It's all legal across the board. That's why also in Legacy Wars, we also stated that we've been working on stuff with them for seven years. Now, what exactly does this mean? Well, like it says in that post, Hasbro has the license to use this version of the suit as per agreement we made. And I'm guessing this agreement was also made back during the Saban era in the early days when Neo Saban and Bat in the Sun were sort of doing that approval thing for the superhero beatdown video. And that deal just carried over when Hasbro bought the brand. Now, with Boom Studios using the suit, Boom Studios has access to the Hasbro Power Rangers play box. And they can pull out whatever they can find in that toy chest and use it in the comics if they get the thumbs up of approval. I mean, we've seen Sentai exclusive Rangers show up in the comics. We've seen references from past Saban shows show up in the comic. If they can pull it out of the Power Rangers play box and they're allowed to use it, then they can. So that's probably the license they had. Aaron mentions that they let Legacy Wars use the design of the costume. Now, the costume has been in the game since pretty much day one, roughly. But since they added the Capcom characters, this has been the updated disclaimer of when you load the game. Motion Picture Artwork, Copyright 2017, Lionsgate Entertainment Inc. Power Rangers and all original names, original characters, distinctive likenesses thereof and original trademarks and logos are exclusive property of SCG Power Rangers LLC, Copyright 2017, all rights reserved, copyright captain, licensed for use by NWAC. The likeness of the Green Ranger belongs to SCG Power Rangers LLC. The main person at the moment who owns Power Rangers is Hasbro at the time of this recording. Also, as Aaron would have owned the design of the costume, then why did he sign the rights over to Lionsgate or whoever it was? Now with the Green Ranger costume, I do think that Boom should have given credit in one of the issues at the back or something like that. I do think it. Because mainly when people first saw that suit, they did think it was the Bat in the Sun one. Let's talk about how Aaron puts down Deoxy's video by saying it was a silly video. A silly video to me would be a video that is over the top. Deoxy put effort and actually did research and showed people more information. So to say it's a silly video is kind of an insult. To me, this would be like saying Bat in the Sun videos are just generic, no thought out superhero videos. Aaron asks what the goal was. From what I understand, it was to clarify what was in the original interview. If you're not telling the whole truth or half truths, then how can people take you at your word and trust what you say in the future? Another part is that you should have been more clearer in what you said. But when you're saying that this is what we're really talking about, when you're not painting the full picture, then be clearer in the main interview. Otherwise, these things happen. When you had a contract with Lionsgate, why didn't you have a clause saying that it can't be replicated in any way? It can't be designed similar or enough to change this. Why didn't you literally turn around to Lionsgate and have that written in the contract? It would again have sorted out a load of stuff. And it's kind of like similar to this group of Trey Triforia where they tried to weaponize their fan base to attack their detractors. Because on your Facebook, you do got like 1.2 million people. So you say, hey, look at this guy, Deoxy. He's lying on me, which we kind of proved that he, he wasn't lying. And this other guy who was another hater, you basically put him out there. And I'm sure he, both of them are receiving hate. So are your investors aware of the storm that you're causing online? Oh, yeah, yeah. And they support this? They they know. I mean, basically, they trust me to handle the, the media the way that I do, the way that I've built my fan base, the way that's going on. I mean, fans are going to take things out of context. Things are going to people are going to hate on stuff. OK. And do people you think you're going to read into things? What? OK. Do you think you have done irreparable damage? Because maybe there are people out there now who's like, you know, what? I'm not supporting the fam just off of, you know, how Aaron's treating Deoxy, because Deoxy is one of the, like a beloved Power Ranger content creator. Uh, no, I, I don't. I mean, I think it's all person. I think it's all kind of fun and games, but, um, but you know, it's all, it's all, we're arguing over power ranger stuff. Like it's all a joke. Like it's, it's all it's silly. Pre it's pretty serious because these are the people who are going to go out and support you or not support you. 
I so mean, I, I yes, take it a little bit more serious. We're, we're, arguing, we're arguing over something that is a privilege to argue over. It's a blessing. Like you watch the news, right? And these people are dying in Israel and, and Ukraine and Russia and stuff like that. And it's horrific, right? They're getting, they're losing their families, they're losing their limbs. And here we're able to argue over Power Rangers. We're, argue, we're able to argue over something we love that's like fun, that's like cool. And it's all just kind of like trivial, silly stuff. I, like I said, I like debating. Our whole channel is based on debating and going after each other and getting into comic book store arguments, which is kind yeah, of fun. And, and to always, Aaron is always very clear and does do that. This to me is the calm before the storm. First off, your investors want their money back. Even though Aaron is like, nah, they don't care if they lose a little. The main thing is you want to make as much as possible. Regardless, if they are okay with you running your mouth and being a Twitter fingers, if you're trying to keep the rep going, then you need to act professionally rather than treating this as one of your normal videos. Also, it's funny how you would do this for Legend of the White Dragon, where you wouldn't have done this for any other video. If I was an investor and you kept acting like this, I would either want my money back or I would be telling you to stop this and sort your stuff out as it makes me as well as everything else look bad. The next big thing Aaron talks about is saying that this isn't big compared to other big events. I'm confused on why you would bring up world events like the war going on. While they are horrible, deflecting this doesn't change the fact you lied on your Facebook post and causing people to go after Deoxy because you're annoyed at him for making a video on the public information you have said and what is out there. What annoys me in this clip Aaron makes, it sounds like his post is accusing Deoxy of lying, but it's sounding like who would win in a fight, Spider-Man versus Batman, or the fact that a certain movie needs debating or something. The attitude within this clip just seems that he loves all of this and it seems to be a game. The fact that his words when he posted actually has misinformation but you're telling your audience something different but more on that later saying that all of this is fun and games to me seems like you want this or that or maybe it's more attention there is no arguing over power rangers what we're talking about is what you've done what you've said and now how you've treated or treated deoxy in this this isn't something where we're having a debate or having a silly versus match talk. You're telling people that you think it's full of lies and false information when it actually wasn't and it actually has consequences. Yesterday I was telling Aaron, like, don't lose your cool. And he's like, I'm not losing my cool. This is, you know, this is not something that I that I'm taking serious and I'm not like um I'm not, you know, getting stressed over. But you know, to to Deoxy and to the people that you posted, they I get what Henry's saying, they might feel they're probably going to get hate, but I mean, you're a significant Aaron amount of hate. A, a oh, significant, but, but, but Aaron gets a significant amount of hate as well. Yeah, but so, it's one thing I mean? someone to be an online personality. That shit just comes with the territory. Yeah. Uh, sure, Deoxy is is not expecting someone with one million uh, followers to say, "Hey, I'm li he's lied and said false things." Only for the person who said that he lied and said false things to say, "Well, I'm sorry, I didn't elaborate that much," without saying that, "Hey, Deoxy didn't lie." Because I don't think you want to say he didn't lie. Henry, did I reach out to him to clarify before I posted about him? Sure you did. Yes or no? But the po yes, but you never said he didn't lie. You won't say it. You won't say Deoxy didn't lie. Use Okay, in court terms, using information to add it together to make it look like or manipulate the jury as if our client is lying, is that's what it is. He didn't. He used your public interview, Aaron. You literally said JDF didn't get credit. Now you're here saying he didn't get co-creator credit. So therefore, Henry, he actually uh, never Henry, lied. Henry, 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 I'll explain this one more time to you. When we're talking about something, and if you cut out the header, and then you don't use that, and then you use that in context, like I'll give you an example here. There's a great, um, the 49ers court or actually no actually well he's, he was the patron. i feel like at this point trying to say oh well aaron gets hate all the time so for deoxy it's absolutely fine that he gets hate as well aaron shouldn't get hate at all so aaron posting a wrong status causing deoxy to get hate because aaron didn't go through things properly is so crazy to me what i think aaron did was he posted it because he was annoyed and wanted attention on this people going over to deoxy and saying you lied might get him to respond. Also, by saying that you would get your lawyer involved makes me feel if he saw this post, it would just go, hey, you can't say that and direct people to go to the Oxy and cause them problems. Back back. On something you said oh, no, back I mean, like, I, I do think that whole better thing is uh, subjective. If I say, I hey, not, I, not in sports. 
zero rings or seven <sighs> rings. It's not. Henry, I don't, don't want to get, get off. I don't want to get off. Look, but no, if we were yeah, talking look, about look, creating, Henry, I'm, we were talking about creating, and then he yeah, said we were talking about he was not accredited. Yeah. We, you know, technically, we're talking about creating. But yeah. But <laughs> what what fan watched that video and took it as hey he wasn't. He, Every, a lot of fans talking, did because they commented on there saying that. that yeah, when you're talking, saying. are you really thinking about? Let me be. Let me more be more clear. We're talking about creating. Jason yeah. didn't get credit for being creative part. No, we were talking about creating, and we're just going flowing with the interview. I'm not. I'm saying like, yes. I feel like to the way Deoxy put it, it does look like he lied because mm -hmm. Jason did get credit, but it also. If you read, if you hear the whole interview, we were talking about Jason never got creative, creative, creative acknowledgement. And that's yeah. why he started Legend of the White Dragon, because he never got, you know, some, to own something. He even says it in the interview. Jason wanted Legend of the White Dragon because now he owns something. Now it wasn't like, oh, you, you know, we we're the owners of Power Rangers. So it doesn't matter if you built Lord Draken to be amazing, if you built the green uh, Super Power Beat Down Green Ranger to be amazing, that's what we were talking about. Look, so we don't have to go in circles. I would um, never Aaron agree with you guys. Aaron didn't, Aaron didn't lie. lie. <laughs> in my, in oh, my yeah. opinion, it was, it was your, a lie. In your opinion, <laughs> but in my opinion, and in a lot of people's other opinion, it, it wasn't a lie because he we were talking about creative. And I actually had something up Hold on, let me bring you it gotta up. Gotta be specific. You can't say he didn't get creative credit. Henry, then, I am. An, I, look, you know, you know me. I'm gonna just go. Hey, well, I, I know watched you're the interview, continue, but I am an amateur uh, <laughs> interviewer. We were sh like, Aaron and I are close. Like, not. Um, look, and again, I'm, I'm, like, I, look, you're just defending because you're friends. No, not, yes, I, don't I, care. I don't. I care. love Aaron and stuff, but I know it, it's right. You I know Legend of the White Dragon is going to come out. I do joke about it from time to time. You know, Legend of the Indiegogo, blah, blah, blah. Who, who the fuck cares? Uh, but, I'll joke yeah. about it, but uh, I don't think you're milking it uh, for money, per se. But I do think Deoxy did a fair and honest assessment of what was publicly available to I the public at the time. I agree. But now that's why Aaron is here and he's but, showing why his... How are the audience meant to know you meant creative credit? In the interview, you say JDF didn't get credit. So that is what we go off. That is why we went to find that if there was credit on the front and inside, changing it later to, oh, you were wrong. We meant this because we know him and what he went through doesn't mean anything because we, the audience, don't know JDF like you do. So when you say credit, we go on that one. Could you imagine Aaron saying Legend of the White Dragon is coming out in September and it doesn't? But then later it drops in September 2025 or 2026. And he goes, no, no, that, that's what I meant. It was coming out in those dates. You can't say one thing and then just kind of move the goalposts later on. I'll be um, back, Henry. I'll be back. <laughs> uh, uh, go ahead. You and your father have, you, your father and Chris have the creative control yeah. over, yeah, yeah, yeah. over it. All right. Now we can, I know we've touched on this before. But some people are not happy with you liking the post going at Deoxy. Not the not not the him him line or all that, but the person who said, hey, we have their names, we ride. Let's send all the things to this deepest ring of the internet of hell, yada yada yada. And you like that post. And people are like, hey, you shouldn't be liking a post where someone is vowing to harass Deoxy. Right. I assume that maybe it's a bad assumption because we should make assumptions online, uh, that he's joking. That he's being like he's quoting like we ride at dawn like it's a silly thing. like he's joking right um you know with the internet you really never know but you know me i disavow all stuff like this even though people accuse well, me of uh sending and that's people. True. So, so, so what i will do is because i don't want inside violence either i think it's i thought he was joking but i'll go on there and comment i was like love your passion love your excitement don't hurt anyone don't actually do that i have no problem going on there and saying that i i, I didn't think anything of it but I read, I probably read it too quick and, you know. I mean, <laughs> it, it is, I, I think the whole last night probably shouldn't have happened, but, you know, that's just me being a small content creator. No way am I ever, I, it, it doesn't matter. I, I don't really want to go back to the Deoxy. I got other questions uh, for you. Give me one second to uh, pull it up. Uh, okay. 
Can you ballpark how much it costs? This annoyed me so much. The post that was made was this one. It says, we have their names. We ride. Let's send that thing to the deepest ring of internet hell. This is our time to prove our loyalty and our grit in the face of such blasphemy and defamation. Show Deoxy360 no mercy and he shall have no quarter. This is not just for the honor of Bat in the Sun, but it's also for the memory of the man that gave most of us so much till his final breath. Deoxy wants war? Well, give it hell. Who will join me, dear brothers and sisters, in nerdum? Now, you can look at this and be like, oh, it's a joke. But Bat in the Sun liked this post and that infuriated me. Every single content creator knows that if you see something like this, you instantly say, please do not do that. Please don't do anything that incites violence. Responses should be blocking that person from the page, saying that they are not fans of you or Jason David Frank and actually set them straight. That's all you can do when it comes to these sorts of things. You don't support it by liking it. Now that person did actually respond. Bat in the sun. I'm not calling for violence. I'm calling for us to all assault his YouTube channel and that video with reports of defamation, harassment, libel, misinformation, etc. till he either leaves or is removed from the platform. Aaron should have jumped in and shot him down. You can't be all happy and positive about it when someone is calling for violence. What gets me is how Aaron is okay with this and how he had to be told to comment. He didn't think, shit, this is such a bad take. He's been on the internet for years. He knows what the internet is like. This annoys me that he's okay with leaving comments like this and be all, it is what it is. The internet is mean. We know this, but ignoring this pissed me off so much. I understand I, everything. I ask you every, what I consider to be a decent question. Have you ever threatened legal action against a YouTuber for criticism or calling you out? There go one. Uh, yes. Yes. If they, uh, well, not threat. Okay. So here's the thing is when people say threaten legal action, okay, that is a wrongly phrased sentence saying my lawyer is going to reach out. When you say you have, you're going to have your lawyer reach out. It's to make sure that nothing escalates. So if anything, saying my lawyer is going to reach out, you're basically saying this situation seems a little volatile and I want you to reach out because if anything were to happen, there will be, uh, documented stuff okay that's the main thing but i've never threatened to to sue i'm trying to think back in like my 15 years of history i, I don't know you know i'll be like my lawyer is going to get involved just over and, and the same thing with the doxy yeah okay Go ahead. i say the same thing with doxy i was like i'm going to bring my lawyer involved because it looks like you are doing things that seem a little dodgy to me i'm not saying like if you don't take that down my lawyer is going to sue you and destroy your ch i'm not doing that Okay, uh, he was worried that you were going to uh, strike his channel. Have you ever striked the YouTuber's channel for using your content? No, and actually what's happened is, um, I know like uh, um, people do reaction videos, and actually my friend uh, Tyron Magnus, he's got a really popular uh, channel for reacting and stuff, and he got flagged a couple times for our videos, and he reached out to me, and he was like, what the hell, Aaron, what happened? And I was like, I didn't do that. I go, it's just the YouTube algorithm. So then I had to reach out to, to the people I know at YouTube that was like, take off his strike. I was like, I'm not, I didn't strike him. I go, don't, don't flag him for doing that. I go, it's fine. He can react to my stuff. I don't care. I'm going to go over this later as this comes around again in the next live stream. I do have a lot of thoughts on this and more. So please keep this in mind. Now, this was going to be the point where I would give my thoughts, but something happened. Henry Resilient did a live stream talking about all of this, and it lasted for seven hours roughly. As I was going to bed, Aaron jumped into the live. Henry and Aaron started talking about things, so let's talk about it. I want to talk briefly about this because I don't know if I'm going to make a video on this. I do touch about this near the end of the video, but I wanted to write it down here in case it doesn't get hurt. In that live stream, I saw some reactions saying that in all of this, some people need to forgive Aaron for this and that this is all about JDR. My response is simple. No, Aaron doesn't get a pass for lying about Deoxy 
and weaponizing his fan base. There are things that you shouldn't do. If people want to say that this is about mental health, then Aaron should be taking a step back from this project and getting someone to take over and look into it. I know Aaron mentioned that he wanted to make it in his true vision. If you're so attached to the project and your mental health is in danger, then have someone else edit it. And when it's done, you look over it and make corrections that are needed. I get seeing your friend who's not here is hurting you and is making you think of the past, but you need to think about yourself. Now to all the people who were defending him because of JDF and thinking about his legacy, to me, this is actually bringing it down. You're now attacking someone who has questioned what was made publicly. How can you defend someone who would do that? I said this in Henry's stream, stop being blinded by JDF. So what do I mean by this? If it was another actor, say Austin, Steve, Jason Font, then it would be a different story and people wouldn't be like, we have to give Aaron a pass because JDF was friends with them. In that live stream, something else really annoyed me. And they were saying that Deoxy had to or should be the bigger man and that boiled my blood because he had to make peace. But why? Because Aaron's ego was hurt? What did Deoxy do to warrant the attack from Aaron and his fan base? Why hasn't Aaron apologized properly, not just in a stream that may or may not be seen? More DMs were shared and Aaron admits that he wanted the video down, saying, can you please remove the video from your channel? People are only seeing that and it paints a false picture and creates a lot of unfair hate towards me. But yet you sent hate towards him as well, when yet you could have easily have talked this over before sharing it with your massive platform. Aaron requested that the name of the video was changed. Aaron only deleted the post because he was told to at the end of the stream. Aaron is ruining what to me could have been an amazing project but now I really don't want to actually react or actually watch JDF's last thing that he loved, that he wanted to share with his fans because Aaron is just running his mouth. If you don't get an answer, uh, we probably just gonna move in. Owen. Ask, ask, ask me a question. I've Did kind of been... Deoxy lie on you in the video? I think he, so ready, uh, ready? Uh, uh, I want yes uh, or no, yes or no. Well, okay, check it out, the title. Hold bruh, on. Bruh, bruh. We went through this. We, you, 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 you explained everything. It, look, I, I, I'm in court plenty of times. When I get asked a yes or no question by a lawyer, I have right. to answer yes or no. There is no explanation. Did Deoxy lie on you in the video? The way that it's edited, it makes like the information sound like what I'm saying is not correct. Is that a yes or a no, Aaron? Uh, I would say that he betrays me as if I'm saying things is that, that I'm not. Is that a yes but... or a no, Aaron? Uh, then I, I mean, I would have to go with, uh, especially with the way the title was, which he retitled. So I would say even the title alone would be yes. The title was, did you lie on Jason David Frank? Not you lied on Jason David Frank. So a question mark is not a fact. You can't say, oh, if someone said, hey, did Henry lie on uh, Bat and the Sun? You can't be like, well, he, he didn't say, well, Henry lied on Bat and the Sun. Those, those two different things matter. So you're saying because he framed the title, did you mm -hmm. lie on Jason David Frank? He's lying on you. I'm saying that that is preface I, Look, if you could just stick to yes or no, that'd just be that'd be perfect for everyone. And you manipulate the truth. Whoa, oh, Aaron, man, I'm not one of your fans. I'm not one of your fans. But you okay, that's fine. All right, where, where is the timestamp where he I, lied I, at? Because I want to talk to you guys. Where Where is the timestamp where he lied at? Um. And don't say you didn't watch the video. You've been met. You've been in his DMs. All all types of stuff. Please. Where is the timestamp where he lied on you? I don't know the timestamp. I, I don't the keep... video. You want to watch it? We can watch it right now. You want to watch it with me? We can... uh, I don't have 20, I don't have twenty minutes. But well, what I will say though, here we hold you on. never got time. No, look, 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 look. You're not gonna come up here and say Deoxy lied on you or insinuate he lied, and then like, right. where's okay, the timestamp? Henry, I'm, look. I'm hold on, Henry, Henry. I'll give you time. I... I'll give you a minute. Go ahead. Go ahead, Henry. I am here because I want to talk because I feel there's been confusion. I feel like there's been confusion on both sides. There's no confusion, I'm, Aaron. There's no confusion. Henry, Henry, do you want do you want to have peace and understanding between everyone, or do you want to have a, a sort of toxic relationship? Uh, look, I don't care about or having a relationship with you. I want to know the answer to the question: Did Deoxy lie on you? He said about oh, the credit thing God. that was wrong, and that's incorrect. Whoa, 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 whoa! The credit thing was you did say in your original interview, Jason did not get credit. Creative credit, correct. No, you never said creative credit. You never said that. That's a lie. You never said, 100%. Did you say he got creative credit or you did? Look, we could, look, 
we can go back and play exactly what you said so we, we don't have to get taken out of context. If you keep talking over me, then I can't answer and why am I here then? Me and Francis, hold on. You're going to let me talk? You got it, man. But you, you, okay. what, what, you, you're, you're topic, peddling BS topic. right now. So you've already made, you see, you're already insulting. That's not looking for peace to resolve. You're already projecting and assuming, which, Dude. which basically, that's a lie what you're saying. You said in the video, and I got you on tape admitting that you said JDF did not get credit. Now Correct. You're, what was, ready? Ready? Now you're, was, you're, now you're coming back and saying we meant creative credit. Okay, ready? Go ahead. The topic in which I was talking to Francis about that was stated at the beginning was creating the project. And I said, Jason never got credit for that. Now, did I ever have a structure, a sentence where it said creative and credit in the same sentence? No, I did not. And for the way that internet standards are now and how you can pick and choose and stuff like that, I probably should have. But the topic at hand was Jason creating something and that he never got credit for it. Which so, so got, I was saying he never got credit for creating something. He got credit for consulting something. Very different. You never said consulting in your first interview. You never said it. Correct. You're right. You're right. I didn't. So I didn't say that. You never said consulting credit. You specifically Correct. said credit. That's it. You left it at credit. Correct. You never said creator credit. So when you say Deoxy is lying on you, we all know that it's a lie. That you're saying he lied on you is a lie. If, if you edit out certain parts of a conversation, then you can be like, oh, they've Aaron. done it to everyone and they shouldn't do that. Like I said, I'll give you an example again. We went back and watched it. He didn't edit it out. He had the whole segment in the video. Did you watch the video? That's why I said we could watch the video. I have watched the video. Now, here's the thing is, here's the thing is, this is what I, for, Henry. You're, do you you're, think, wait, wait, Henry, hold on, hold on, look, look. You're Henry, saying Henry. he edited out, but we watched the video. We showed that he didn't edit out. He had your whole conversation up from Soul of the Dragon to the beginning to the end. Right. And in there, in there, what you're saying, so you're, so you're saying that we have the whole thing in there. You're saying she, he put that all in there. It's all in there. You, you, I, that's why I offered to watch the video with you so we can go to the timestamp. But you can say, oh, he cut this out. He played the whole thing through. Okay. Well, then if, if he did, I watched the video. Don't get me wrong. I watched the video. If he kept all that in there, if he kept all that in there, then why are you making such a big deal out of me not stipulating that it's about him creating it then? I'm making a big deal because you said, hold on, I'm making a big deal. I'll show you exactly why I'm making a big deal. Uh, right here, share this tab. Uh, give me, let me get this out of here. Uh, right here, this is exactly why I'm making a big deal out of it. You said, there are a lot of talkers, haters online. This guy posted a video full of false info, yet you, mm. you cannot say anything that was false in the video. You have yet to say anything. You keep talking around it. And edited my interview, so a lot of details were missing, which we went back, we watched the video. The whole entire conversation is in there. So I reached out so he could talk to me directly. He won't respond, liars and cowards. This is completely BS. And like I said, we can watch the video right now. You can see everything in there. So what is false in the video? Uh, I mean, if you, like I said, from what I saw, it looks like that was edited. But, but here you go, Henry. This is what I'm trying to call you and tell you about. You're, you're, this is what I'm, Aaron, Henry. you're not answering the question. Henry, I'm okay. trying to talk to you as a person. I'm you're trying to talk to you. I'm, I am coming at you because I say, hey, what's false Henry. in the video? You can say, I hey, know that. Henry, what's false in the video is that this timestamp, A, B, C, this is false. Right. Okay. So, so here's what's, this is why I called you. Ugh. I'm trying to talk to you as a person, Henry. So, originally, when I watched the video, I watched it once. I'm always doing a bunch of different stuff. So a lot of this stuff is not top priority for me in terms of absorbing knowledge and different stuff like that. Not to say what you guys do is important because it's very important because I know it's a lot of your livelihoods and I think it's great that you guys do it and you have to go hard on it and that's good. It's not my livelihood. Keep going. Okay, that wasn't an insult. I'm saying that's great. I mean, I'm sure probably that's a good, it's a good thing for you guys and you guys are very passionate about it. Um, I region originally reached out to him to say, hey, it seems like there's some mis-edited facts here. It's been broken up. So I could go, I mean, I don't really have time to watch the video back with you and compare the two. They seem like it's edited, the, the versions are edited, and that's what happens is you contort the truth. Now, I have spoken with Deoxy. We saw. 
Why, right. did you, why did you ask him to take the video down originally? Because in the video, he has a very negative spin. Who cares? It's YouTube. That, that, that's not, that's not okay, grounds okay, to remove a video. And, and this is, okay, this is, I'm glad you brought that up. Because in the world that I live in with people, don't, be, don't come to a negative conclusion, conclusion in life. He has a negative spin. I go, that's not cool. I'm not trying to be negative to the community at all. Maybe we can work something out. Also, Henry, I'm here to talk to you because I don't like all the animosity and hate and everything like There's that. There's no hate. I'm just calling you out for what you did. Tell, look, you're so fucking lucky that you're not more popular because the stuff you pulled with Deoxy would definitely get you canceled ASAP. Telling someone to take a video down that has a negative spin and then three yeah. lawyers it's weak it's weak and it's also not, also also what would you tell your lawyers he made a video with a negative spin about me did he defame you no did he did he slander you no right henry I, for as much court as you say that you've been to you understand when you enter in conversation with someone that's opposing you and possibly saying things that are false you have a lawyer on the phone to make sure that everything is documented correctly so that there is no back and forth. You don't, you, understand? Need a, you don't need a lawyer on the phone. You can record the conversation yourself. That's illegal. You can't do that. In my state, you can. In California, you cannot. You have to have a lawyer present. You uh, No, you have two-party consent. Henry, Henry no, you no, not know. I, I know California. California is a two-party consent state. You have to say, hey, Aaron, I'm recording this conversation. You have to say, okay, you are free to record the conversation. There's no, like, we have to have a lawyer for present. But you have to have a lawyer to make sure that no one messes with it. If you have two-party consent, then he could record something and take it out of context, which has already happened. And I don't want that to happen. So you have to have lawyers present to make sure that it's equal across the board. Anything else you want to you wanna add, Aaron? There's been a lot of people here saying things, and I was like, if you guys want to say it to my face, I'm happy to answer it. Why don't you go on your own platform and cut videos to respond to people? You guys want to, because I don't have time, and that's not a priority to me. And it's it's obviously a, a big priority to you guys, so I'm trying to, like, wait, help wait, you guys wait, understand wait, you have yeah. a lot of hate, and I'm trying to make sure that's, like, alleviated. It's not, you have a lot of questions. There's, like, there's no hate. Form. There's, would, that's all, wait, Henry, Henry, all you guys hate. have been for the, hating for the last four hours. No, it's not Henry. hating. You you and, slid into a D like look bro bro and you can try to spin it as hate and your fans will believe that hey he's he's spreading hate you th here are facts why did you delete your tweets by the way why? they're not deleted they're they're still there and yeah, they're still there well I apologize we got to go find them because when I went to go look for them they were not there they're still there I didn't delete them okay so you're cool with asking them to take down the video that's negative. Of you that paints you in a negative light in your opinion yeah yeah of course and if and if they, i had misconstrued something that was wrong about someone else and said aaron that's incorrect can you please take that down i'd be like oh i understand i don't want to create oh, I, would tell, I would have told you to fuck off a hundred percent would have I, I guess i'm a lot nicer than you but okay i i, I hundred like other people would have told you the same thing it is cool you can come up here with the, the the demeanor and all that um so do you feel like everything how you handled the oxy situation was fair and just so what I will say on that is uh, a lot of times your intentions don't come across online and that gets lost. So I feel that I could see how you guys think that I was coming across as really like angry or <laughs> threatening or whatever. But I was that's why I came on here and that's why I reached out to him to say, hey, let's have a conversation because I'm not threatening. I don't I'm, I would not do that. OK, do you think you handle everything fair and just? It's a yes or no. Uh, I could have handled it better. What could you have done better? Uh, probably just explained more, just gone more into detail, like let them know, I'm like, Hey, I'm not threatening you. Hey, you know, um, please respond. I'm not angry with you. Does he, I don't mean any harm to you or anything like that. Does he owe you a response? No, no one owes anyone a response. But I think when you reach out to someone about, especially when you make a video that drums up a lot of hate about someone and you have a lot yeah. of questions. Like I said, I'm not owed any response, not at all, no. But I'm saying if I see creating a lot of anger and hate among the community, and I go, oh, let me see if I can straighten some of this out. I would like to clarify so that the information's out there. I don't like seeing everyone get angry. 
You know what I'm saying? That's why I always tell like Francis or whoever, even you, I was like, if you have questions for me, I'd love to answer them because I do think, uh, you know, that words get misconstrued and taken out of context and no one's perfect and I've made mistakes and I would like to clarify and come on here and be like, hey, because I see like the guy before, the gentleman, there's a guy that was in the car and he had glasses on and he was real angry the whole time. He was spewing all kinds of hate and anger and, 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 and assumptive things. Brent, Brent, yeah, yeah. I'd love to talk to Brent. Brent, come up, man. There is so much to go through in this clip. One thing is that Aaron likes to talk and try and go the long way around, but actually doesn't get straight to the point, which I can get because I sometimes do this. I think this could just be how the creative mind can be, but mainly what I'm getting is that Aaron didn't watch the video properly. By saying you did, but having it on in the background, it seems like he didn't pay any attention to the actual video. Where you say that the video was cut up, but the video wasn't taken out of context. The entire clip was put in and you can watch it in full. So saying that it was taken out of context or edited in a way, the entire video was direct, went over things that were in the first interview. How can you edit something to make you look bad when the entire clip was put in there? The only hate that I can see is from Aaron when he actually went and typed that post and sent it to his followers. Deoxy went through facts and put together what he knew, what was publicly known. If you turn around and say one thing, and then something different is mentioned later, you can see that he's wrong when you're giving the correct facts to begin with. To me, you're being misleading, and how can people trust you when you do this, Aaron? I do think at the beginning part that Aaron is talking down. Rather than have a normal conversation, it's him saying that people are not understanding him or what's going on. The main thing is rather than trying to answer the question, the whole arguing till the point is forgotten or no one remembers and people get frustrated and move on. If you don't have any time, then why are you spending time in interviews? Why are you reaching out to get interviews? I don't know what you have planned, but you'll be doing these interviews for hours and it just doesn't make sense. I would like to know how your time management works. I think Aaron thinks that anything negative said or anything questioned that doesn't align up he instantly thinks it's hate. Now, when you watch Deoxy's video, he says that he has no hate or malice. Now, it makes me wonder if Aaron again watched the video. Aaron only focuses on the comments, that's clear, and it's something he wants to control. If people are only reading the comments, then it puts Aaron in a bad light and he can't handle it. When he made his post, he's able to control the narrative to some degree. If he can tell people in his echo chamber and not actually link the video, then of course, everyone's just gonna go on what he says. That's actually quite bad to be fair. He wants those sympathy points. He wants people to be like, oh man, like Aaron, I'm so sorry. But yet again, won't let people go and watch that video. Sounds like we're all alive right now talking about fictional characters. Like how cool is that? Okay. You know, I'm That's great. All right, good, good, good. All right, so here is the text message you sent to Deoxy. Uh, were okay. you accused first? You you said he was painting you as false and uh, cutting details out. But okay. the reason you really wanted to delete it is because you said, look at the comments. Everyone is saying I'm lying, which you yeah. heard the audio I played. Now, remember, when Deoxy made the video, that audio was not available. So therefore, right. therefore, this, hey, you, I wasn't lying, which Deoxy never said you were lying if you watched the video, but I, I don't think you did. And also, you've been here long enough where we could have watched Deoxy's video. Um, but people are only coming towards your video and not seeing the other. Why is this, hey, the comment section is, is not painting me in a positive light and no one's watching my Francis clip. You should delete your video. Why is that your logic? Because of the comment section, as opposed to the content in the video. Because uh, context and truth, if you preside one thing without the other and it, and it balances it out, then you, so if, you, you if, if you're looking for a whole package, oh, did we lose Brent? Yeah, I think we did. We, I'm here. Oh, there's there. I'm here. If you're looking, because to me, you should always seek the truth on it, right? And if there's always like uh, pieces that can be put together, then you should look at both together. Okay. You know, someone quotes someone and you're like, oh, I don't want to hate anyone. What was really okay. said? You Let's know what I'm saying? Say That's this, all. Right? Donald Trump comes out today. And say, is, let's say, let, let's say this, right? Donald Trump comes out and says, Hey, you know, I never worked with Aaron, Aaron, uh, from Bat in the Sun. They show a clip on Tuesday of you working with Aaron from B Aaron and Trump, right? Mm -hmm. They cut the video, they put it out. And then on Wednesday they say, Oh, I never worked with Aaron on the campaign with Donald Trump. Should the people who made the video proven that Trump worked with you 
delete the video because now Trump clarified that he meant the campaign. You see where I'm going with this? Because you said, <laughs> you said, hey, he didn't get credit. And then in the live stream, you said creator credit. Uh, okay, so we're, this is an, okay, so this is an issue that we disagree on in terms of the context of what that was said. And we're going to keep disagreeing on that. And that's fine. A lot of times they, they will redact something or they'll add like a little, a little footnote onto it as far as what it is. And that's it, you know, they'll be able to clarify, oh, this was taken out of context and it will be updated. They update articles all the time like that. Not videos though. New, uh, new, they'll, or they'll do, they'll do like a follow-up video explaining how, like, oh, I do have more information now, or stuff like that. That's why I was telling Deox, I was like, are you gonna do a follow-up video, kind of like now reiterating? All what that. if he doesn't? If he doesn't do one? Yeah. I mean, he just doesn't do one. I would, I would appreciate it if he did, but if he doesn't, he doesn't. Does he owe you one? No, he doesn't owe me anything. No, he doesn't owe me anything. Okay. And he's never, he's never owed me anything. But I wanted to reach out to him and talk to him and create a conversation with him. Right. Because just like anything, I think communication is great. Because sometimes, Henry, you and me won't agree on things. We're going to never agree on some things, Aaron, but that's okay. That's fine. That's, that's fine. fine. But but I come on here saying I want to make peace and help everyone understand everything. Because even like Brent was asking, he was talking about like budget and money and yeah, Brent's all kinds. Yeah, Brent's a millionaire. He, he, you know, it is what it is. Uh, okay. Let, let me get some questions from the chat. Uh, me and Aaron were now we've seen more about these text messages. Now Aaron does say that Deoxy doesn't owe him anything, but when you hear him saying that he would like a reply, so does he want something in return? Is he owned something? Who knows? You, Henry, would it make you happy if we watched it? Man, it would. It would. It would bring me so much joy. Okay, let's watch it. All right, guys. Henry, Henry, here you go. Ready? What's up? I want you to to observe. I'm take it. I'm going to take it okay. all in, man. I'm going to take okay, it all great. in. Now, all right, guys. I, hold on. No, no. I'm going to say when you take what I'm about to say to you. Go ahead. Is that I come on here. I don't mind being proven wrong. I am truly seeking just peace and, like, you know, good community. And I was like, if that's what you want to do, and that'll make you happy. Because that's, <sighs> ultimately, that's ultimately what man, I'm after. I appreciate this, Aaron. If you could just lend me probably five minutes of your time. Okay, we could, we could we could eliminate this whole ordeal, okay? Okay. Good. All right, guys. In the meantime, you know if I'm wrong, then that's fine. I'll say that I'm wrong. I want you, I want a full apology to Deoxy and you to delete the goddamn post about him saying that it was false stuff. I, if 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 it is, then I will go through and do it. All right. Uh, let's. What annoys me in this is that Aaron is talking to Henry like a child, and it annoys me so much. This doesn't feel like a convo. It's more like when someone says, "Don't touch that; it's hot," and then you go touch it in your ow, and they're like, "See, I told you." So he's always talking down to Henry, trying to put together a tone, and that doesn't really sit well with me. Shattergrit was before. Shattergrit was before. Because you, yeah, that's what I'm trying. I'm trying to understand. Yeah. Like, I'm just, you know, we're both so. Uh, where both things were we could we could watch the whole video we could we could do the whole thing where uh you basically said uh i i can't remember the the issue where everyone is saying the community the okay, okay okay so, so go okay no so you hit play hit play okay okay, okay. i'm sorry so sorry this okay. is the this is the you never got credit for solo the dragon okay, okay yeah, so, so hit, yeah hit, hit credit yeah, yeah i understand i understand sorry i got confused so there's no falsity or manipulation in credit so hit Hit so hit, hit, play on, hit play on the thing in there. Okay. Paragraph that know, says, from Kyle Higgins, artist Giuseppe Gaffro, and special consultant Jason David Frank comes the final story for the history's mightiest Power Ranger. So JDF did work on Soul of the Dragon with Kyle, and he was the special consultant on the story. So this contradicts whatever Aaron was saying in that interview, where he was saying that Boom Studios and Kyle stole those ideas from him. Okay. Okay. So, and here's where we're going to disagree, but he says that this contradicts what I said. Okay. Which, and I, let me, let me, I'm going to offer you an olive branch here to say that we're both right. Okay. Hold on, Henry. <sighs> I'm trying, man. I'm fighting it. Go I ahead. know. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. So, so in the video, he showed, he showed the whole thing. And I, I say clearly in his video, I basically say we came up with the story, you know, we pitched it, we, you know, created it, that sort of stuff. Right. I said all that, right? Yes, you did. And, and I say, and then we never got credit for it. Right. Just credit, right? Just credit. Well, on the topic of what we're talking about, we never got credit for creating and pitching and come up with the story. So sure. that I said that, 
And then he goes, well, Jason and God consulting. So Aaron's that's contradictive to what Aaron's saying. Aaron's not telling the truth. And I go, well, no. What? Now, he, I, hold on. He never said you wasn't telling the truth, Aaron. In the title, it says, did Aaron, Aaron, did Aaron lie? That That's very different than Aaron lied. But, but hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll just go back here. We'll go back. He says that is contradictory to what Aaron said. That is a statement. That's not a question. That's a, exactly. I'm with you. That is not a contradiction to what I said. It's not. I said that he did not get credit for us pitching and creating the story. We can go back and we can, we can, we can, I can point out the words. And you he go back? showed that you got, he, that Jason got special consulting credit. Now, if you're Correct. trying to say special consulting credit is now, still credit. It is not. Okay. But here, let me, this one, this one I'm going to talk to you. Okay. It is not the credit in which I was speaking of. Now I was not as, hold on. You expected us to read your mind though and say that. No, 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 you no, say, no, no. Here, no, no. Here's okay. So this is, hold on, Henry. Go ahead. Okay. In the interview that I originally did, when I said that me and Jason came up with a story, we pitched the story that we, you know, we created, we never got credit. Okay. Now, I assumed that most of you guys would know, and maybe you didn't, and that was probably my mistake, that when you, and maybe I just live in the, in the pitching writing world too much to just assume these things. But when you're saying, when you create something and you want credit for it, you want credit for a story, right? And, and a consulting credit is so different. Now, maybe like, um, you know, I thought that that was more well known and maybe, and it looks like that Deoxy Ash didn't know that, you know what I'm saying? That he might've like, I thought for my watching it, I was like, oh, those are way different. You know what I'm saying? It's like a starring role versus like uh, extra in a background. I go, those are not the same thing. You know, and I'd be like, Jason wasn't in the movie. And you're like, he was an extra. And I was like, well, he wasn't in the movie. What? You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, oh, now look. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold okay, on. Go ahead. That's a great I, analogy. You're like, technically you could take it both ways. And I, right? I take it in a literal way. If you say he wasn't in a movie and I see him credit as an extra, then he was in the movie. Right. I, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm painting this example. But what I was talking about when I was doing the interview with Francis, I thought that the generalization was pretty obvious. Now, I felt that Ash was taking that and being like, this contradicts what Aaron says. Aaron's a liar based upon his heading. Okay. Right. And I was like, and I was like, oh, I wasn't trying to lie. You know what I'm saying? Then this is where I see it seems that you are spinning a motive or an agenda because it's coming negative right off the bat. If he went on there and, and said, if Deoxys says now he was credited, now maybe Aaron meant creator credit or maybe he created this. I don't know what Aaron meant, but going on, he, this contradicts what Aaron said. And you're like, well, it doesn't because it is Two. interpreted. This is, this is what I'm saying, that it could go either way. Now, I did not have the intention to manipulate or whatever. And in, in Deoxy's video, he also says that he didn't have that intention either. Although he came to foreground conclusions based upon a video where I didn't overly clarify something, which is why I reached out to him originally and was be like, hey, let's talk because I feel like we're, we're miscommunicating. But then, when, but then when he didn't respond and left me on Redford, eight or 10 hours, I was like, oh, you're trying to actually be like aggressive and negative. And I was like, I'm not all about that. Like now you're trying to spread negativity. And in all the comments, and a lot of the, a lot of his thing was, was negative in, in, in a way, in terms of being like, Aaron's wrong, Aaron's wrong, Aaron's that's wrong. An but hold opinion, on. But no one it's opinion, it. right. But it's like, it was never like, oh, Aaron's right. That's interesting. It was always very Aaron's wrong, Aaron's wrong. And I was like, why are you being negative? I'm just trying to come on, just like I'm coming on here with you, Henry. I'm waiting. I just want, I just want to just be honest and open with everyone and just talk. So when I reached out to him, I was like, hey, man, I think our wires are crossed or whatever I said. I said, let's, I'd love to talk with you. And then when he left me on red and I was like, well, okay, okay. Are you trying to be negative to me? That's why I was like, well, the next time we speak then, because if we both have good intention, I trust you, lawyers don't need to get involved. But if your job is like, I'm going to just needle you and make you look negative, I was like, well, then I need to have my lawyer listen in to make sure that everything is cool. That's why I brought up the lawyer thing, because he left me on red for like nine hours and I was or seven hours or whatever it was. But does that, does that make sense, Henry? I know exactly what. Does that make sense? Uh, it's about as clear as mud. So because of you being in the industry, if 
Jason, if you go in the, if you go in and say, well, Jason was not in the movie, and someone say, hey, well, he was credit, they see that he was credited as an extra. Your, right. Your interpretation is like, well, he's not in the movie. Right. Because well, I'm in it, the industry and we don't consider it, extras as being in the movie. Especially if it wasn't like, you know, if your whole job was to be an extra the whole time. And then you're like, if like, because because there's a lot of extras that work really hard that do great background work. And it's not to install background actors because they do a great job and they hustle and they work their way up. But there's like sometimes where it's like, you know, I got signed on for a starring <laughs> role. Like I'm the movie, blah, blah, blah. And then also you get added to an extra and you're like, I'm not even in the you know what I'm saying? And then it's like, that's what it is. And that's what I thought that. So, and when, and when, uh, Deoxy took that and he's like, well, he's in the movie. Aaron's completely wrong. He's, he's contradiction himself. And I was like, well, I go, he, what Jason was promised and what he got. And I showed you also, I clarified, I showed on, hold on, let me just finish. Go ahead. I showed you that, that text message where Jason says, I got some BS, you know, consulting credit. And I was like, that's what I was talking about. So here's the thing is I was not clear enough in what I said. I didn't clarify enough, and I should have. I thought, I assumed that people would know. That's my problem. Don't make an assumption. Deoxy went on there. He did not offer me an ol olive branch or a way out to be like, maybe Aaron meant something else. He was just like, Aaron's contradictive. And I was like, oh, why are you spinning that, like, throwing negative? It sounds like you're trying to put words in my mouth or negative connotation. And I was like, don't do that. So that's where things <laughs> got off the rails. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, sure. Can All right. So here's here's what here's what happened, right? Already, or is we explained the whole JDF extra thing? Hold on, let me acknowledge someone. Someone trying to throw some shade at my guy. Looks like it may be a fan of Bat in the Sun. Look, we love we allow everyone to speak their mind here. The Oxy is just after clout and got scared when Big Ball Aaron clapped back. Hence the radio <laughs> silence. Aaron's making exclusive good points. Dog, bless you. Uh, that was from Mason. Um, now here's Thank the you. thing, though. You think in, uh, you could just say creator world and in creator world, a special consultant is not considered credit, but in non, in, the, yeah. in a non creator world, when you say he didn't get credit and people see, Hey, he got credit right here. They like, Hey, they're looking at you sideways. Like what is Aaron trying to spin this narrative, which I said myself, this victim narrative and not for Jason, but for bat in the sun. I've been, I've, you know, that's always been my, my know personal opinion. That's not true at all, Henry. Well, that's my opinion. That's my opinion. I know that, but eventually when you learn enough things, your opinion changes and evolves. Uh, with new information, sure. But okay. Deoxy didn't do anything false. You're thinking special consulting credit is not credit. Where Deoxy is like special consulting credit is still credit. Right. And and I and I understand where that where that went awry and got off the rails and i assumed that he was trying to be negative but also that assumption was based upon other negative <clears throat> assumptions throughout the video and the title so hold on hold on hold on hold on if you watch the I'm, video he says three about three different times he's not trying to be negative he i know just, that you can you can say you're not that's like saying hey no offense i get but what you say yeah offense, offense. i get it right, go ahead go ahead so so at the title right off the bat bat in the sun lied about jason and frank question ah, no did hold bat on. in the sun lie did bat hold in on the sun ready lie. ready, ready? That's true. But that already is a negative clickbait headline. You can't disagree with that. If it just said, hey, interview with Aaron sheds interesting information. That's non-biased. <laughs> it's it's YouTube. You're going to have clickbait headlines. Okay. So okay, so so you're saying negative intent is already assumed based upon getting views. That is your perception. Your perception is did someone lie being that's negative. That is negative. Question if someone lied or not. That's, that's a negative. That's your opinion. I would never say that it's negative. I would say hey, it's a I, good title. I a think lot of people click on it, and and that's true. And he and that's the thing is he got he got what he wanted, right? So, well, he one. I talked to Deoxy. He was like, I wasn't expecting the video to blow up, and I was and like, good, good for him. Uh, but someone said Deoxy still ain't lie. Now you're saying this olive branches are is your olive branch that both of you guys are right? Um. Yeah, I think I think they're both we're both leaning on the be tr basically leaning on the truth and the lie or or it's it not really a lie. A lie is the wrong word then in that case. But basically we're kind of huh? I never said I never thought you lied. Did I think you no, omitted? I, do I yeah, do I think you didn't elaborate enough? Yeah, do I think you may have misspoke? Yeah, I've always said that, but I don't think you were out here intentionally trying to lie. And I've said that, but you know, not that doesn't not get that doesn't get brought up. 
the hate, okay. hate, hate stuff, you know, I, I'll come on and I'm like, hey, 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 hey. Um, yeah, so but, no, that's kind of nice. A little olive branch here and there. Um, but what I'm saying is you're trying to say you're of the opinion that you are both are right. I mean, yeah. I mean, yes. Because now, like, when I first watched it and I posted that thing, you know, and I, and I, I posted the, the um, well, not post, uh, DM'd him. Because I was like, whoa, like, it sounds like you're really negative. What's going on? You know? left me on red and then when he left me on red i was like well that's not cool man like I, like are you just trying to be just yeah. are you basically trying to be negative for for clickbait so then i posted what i posted he was and at, then he was at out. work and i think once huh? you put once you posted this and then you sent the, the lawyer threats that's when he posted it on twitter it was no a, i know that i know so that's when he posted it. it was after you did this right here right where he was like all right well well, if aaron is going to threaten lawyers and post this crap about me then but but also though but also okay so this This is is entitlement though this is entitlement it's not entitlement at all whoa 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 whoa, whoa, how is how is entitlement explain how it's entitlement you're saying that he oh he owes you in a response he doesn't owe me a response not at all so why would you post this why would you like oh he's ignoring me so let me blast him on facebook because it's the courteous thing to do. That's entitlement. That's he, not entitlement. He, you're, you want him. Hey, expecting you, other people to be kind and seek the truth. That's entitlement. That's what is no, that. What, not, that you're trying to spin it. it. You you said in your next message, interview me or talk to my lawyers. He doesn't owe no, you I an said, interview. He doesn't on, owe you a response. Hold on. Hold on. That's entitlement. That's 100 percent. Look, if, if you I, I don't video think, me. I don't, ask, ask your fans. I don't think it's entitlement to want a response. I'm not demanding a All response. Right, I think. I think being kind and listening to people is not right. entitlement. Let's, huh? uh, let's, I'll poll the fans. I ask them. I mean, we got maybe, maybe, today, maybe today's kids think that is entitlement. Whoa. I, now, huh? now you see how you, you see how you kind of send it. You say kids, you know, yeah, the young, of, Henry, do you know, I'm a little, I'm a little older than probably you think. How, how do you think I am? I mean, I bet you age real well. Cause you look, I bet you, cause you look like you're 24 and you don't look Damn, you're not 40. 20. Yeah. So, okay. So I'm a little older than you. But um, and most of but, my audience is over thirty, like based on YouTube okay. analytics. So none of them are kids. But when you say "sting like kids," that's that's going to sting people. I don't uh, mean I don't I don't mean it to. I don't mean it. To. I just think that everyone's younger than me now. Well, I'm I'm younger than you. Don't age me up. So let's let's do a poll, everybody. Uh, I know we got a lot of ninja watchers on the clips channel. Ask if it, asking kind, expecting kindness out of people is entitlement. Well, no, you were expecting a response. That that's that's entitlement. If that's, you ask, if, if you're outside and you ask someone, "Hey, how's it going? Hey, can I help you?" But that's not what it was. This was, "Hey, you cut a video on me. Please talk to me." Do you see the difference? I, I get you want to spin it as something else, but that's entitlement. So here we go. I'll let the, I'll let the audience decide. Is it, well, we can agree on the question. Is it entitlement to, uh, what, oh, no, 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 entitled? Because I know a lot of people on chat type in the chat. Is it entitlement to uh, request a response from someone that did a video on you? Was that a fair question? Uh, if the, but also the question I, I asked my, the question that I asked him was it, was I mean, or was I nice in that first question? Uh, I can only ask one question at a time. No, 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 no. Henry, here, here's what I'm making. Right. So if someone comes to you like hard and they're like, answer me, mother, like you got to talk to me. Then he'd be like, whoa, man, like, why you come out? When I asked the oxy that question that says, Hey, would you like to chat? Was I, was I nice in that? Was I polite in that? Or was yeah, that? I don't, I, I mean, I, that was fine. I don't care about the question. The but, question, no, but it, it, but but Henry, just, it matters how look, you ask I the come question. At, I come at people plenty of times as as nice as I, I possibly can, and they still okay, tell so me, say that you. If, if if you if you ask nicely, is an entitlement to expect a response? Um. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Uh, do we need to add the if you if if you ask nicely part? Is yeah. Because okay. I'm ask a great and then that, that like will offend someone all right look we're gonna end it okay look, we ended it you were already losing but i want to i want to make sure that you get these results if you ask nicely if you ask nicely you were already losing uh pretty bad if you ask nicely yeah. is it entitlement to want a response um i guess not want but like hope for a response okay 
hope for a response and then threaten lawyers after. But we don't we don't leave that. We're going to leave that part out. Hope for a response. Uh, I, look, guys, this is this is what you guys think. Everyone knows. Me. I had to cut it here because there is a lot. Do I think that Aaron is entitled to have a response from Deoxy? Yes. Yes, I do. To me, he doesn't need to reply at all. Now, if I got this message and then a lawyer one, Aaron would get the same thing from me. I wouldn't reply. I'm not sure on why Aaron would have gone to this, but let's look at what world Aaron is in. First off, not everyone is a content creator, nor are they in the film industry. By going with these terms means nothing. I've been in the industry, I've got friends in the industry, and I've never heard these terms, so I don't know if it's an American thing. Also, Deoxy was busy working, so you had to give him more time. When you say that if they don't reply, it's aggressive and negative, what about the people you don't reply to? If you reply to everyone, that's impressive. But if not, then you must be annoyed at them. Either way, if this is how Aaron thinks, then you have to approach everything like we're in the film industry, which to be frankly, no one is going to do. Also, I do feel that this is entitlement because Aaron wants a response so he can lie and twist things so Aaron can make himself look good. So, will that change? I don't know. After he sees this, I don't know. Um, but let's let's go, guys. I do want to shut it down. Any anything else? So wait, wait. Going back to the Axi video. Did he lie? Did I he, think I did he did I, he did he leave out details? Because you accused him of cutting out stuff, and I showed you that he had the whole clip in there. Is is a a, a, a statement that's an assumption or assumption that's a statement? Is that a lie? What? Okay. If you if you if you present a, an assumption as a statement, is that a lie? He presented that you said y'all didn't JDF didn't get credit. He said he showed that JDF got credit and he said it I contradicts was, what you said. Then that would be then that is an assumption presented as a statement, which would be a lie. But the reason why I said that this is very slippery slope because that understanding of that can be a lie to some people and would not be. And where I said, and hold on, Henry, I said that might have been my mistake. Assuming, once again, an assuming, which is bad that he knew what I was talking about. So from my perspective at the time, I thought he was lying. But understanding who Deoxy is now, it looks like he has not lied. Does that help? Does that help? It does. A little bit? I would hope you delete that post, call him a lie. But anyway. Well, I did up, I did the update on it. I, that, I can delete this thing on it. I mean, like, he wants that shit down. Like, he, he's going to talk about it. Uh, Bat the Sun, please just say sorry to Deoxy and let... Let's get that movie out soon. <laughs> All right, let's go to the poll, guys. Post your questions. You can super chat questions. Uh, post them. Uh, remember how Aaron was like, I don't got time, but he he been here for damn near an hour, guys. Keep that. I've enjoyed talking with you, Henry. I like the. Back it's so clear to me that Aaron wants to still keep this lie up. Why did he go the long road? A simple no, he did not lie would have been the better answer. At first, it sounds like all the stream was for nothing. Just makes me wonder, does Aaron want to really admit it that he was wrong or try to get people to think that? Standard, as you were saying. <laughs> the title is fine. I'll tell you the title is fine, guys. Any last questions uh, for Aaron before he leaves? I told him what people think you got mental health issues going on. I, whatever. Make of it what you want. Someone said the Power Ranger community should support you. Have you been getting a lot of support from other uh, Power Rangers with Legend of the White Dragon? Oh yeah, a ton. I, Johnny actually, Johnny Bosch called me today, and uh, I speak with a lot of. I speak with it like there's a certain select group that I talk to. Um, you know, I'm really, really close with with uh, Ciara Hannah. I'm close. I spoke with Serena. I'm close with Font. Um, you know, and then of course, uh, <laughs> what? Uh, that, we have a troll that just comes over here and like he trolls me, and I I, I don't mind different opinions, but he said you won, so. Uh, okay. Aaron won. Uh, he does it all the time, and then he'll privately say you lost. It, it's it's a funny thing. But, all right. Well, as long as long Henry, as long as we came to an understanding and we're both cool, then we both won, and we both because it's all like I said, it's all kind of just silly kind of stuff, and we we worked it out. It's not like no one's like, oh my god, you did something horrible, you know. Well, here's the thing. I'm gonna clip this video. It's probably gonna get a thousand views, and I I see we got two Aaron ones, which is the person who hated Deoxy, and then I know one guy is just trolling. Uh, but there we go. Aaron also, Moore. no no one should hate no one should hate on anyone. Well, uh, I'm the hate monger, Aaron. Hate, I know, and hate, I'm hate, and, and hate, I'm hate. I'm telling you, don't do that. Don't be hateful. Oh my, I'm, it, it's a joke. 
All right, uh Since the time of writing this video and maybe recording and uploading it, then Aaron has yet to apologize to Deoxy on his Facebook page or even his Twitter. Since he caused so much backlash towards Deoxy and says he would apologize, then I would like to see this. Not just saying sorry in a video which you're five hours into doesn't really cut it for me. He could have gone out and said this straight away. I think Aaron saying he or both of them won, I disagree with. What did you win? The understanding of it all? Hours of you saying that Deoxy lied and now you're like, well, we both won in the end. I don't know why Aaron couldn't be like, you know what? I was wrong and now after reflection, I can say yes, I did say this. I could have said special consultant credit, but that's my bad. This is a subject that actually really boils my blood. It makes me so angry that Aaron did this. I know I'm going to get comments saying Deoxy went after him or he shouldn't have said anything. But let's be honest, Deoxy questioned what was said and put together a solid video talking about points that didn't make sense. We would have all done the same, you know, even if it was just putting it in the comments and talking about it until something got answered. To me, Aaron wanted to silence Deoxy with his messages. If you're using terms from Hollywood or the industry and people don't know this, why are you using these sorts of terms? Aaron says he didn't use the terms lawsuit or suing, but when you look at his message, it reads like that. It reads like a threat. To other people, it is read as a threat. This isn't a, hey, mind if we chat, mind if we go over this. All these messages read as, hey, give me your time, I deserve it. People online saw it as exactly the same. So coming back and being like, oh no, this is what we say in the industry. I do think after all this backlash, he did change it to try and make it sound not so bad. Now, one thing that gets me is that trying to gaslight people was a horrible thing. I don't know if Aaron does this a lot or thinks it's okay, but this isn't right. Own up to the whole thing of, oh shit, sorry guys, I misspoke and I thought it was this. I'm really sorry. Rather than try to spin a false narrative of you should have known what I meant. If you say he didn't get credit, that is what people are going to say and think because of your words. If you're going to try and move the goalpost later because people catch you out, then you can't say, oh, he should have known. We have to take you on face value. If you meant co-creator credit, then correct yourself. Don't leave it out till much later and try and get someone else in trouble for your mistake. Aaron talks about people who are extras in films, but in his mind, they aren't actually in the film. But to me, regardless of what your role is, if you're on camera or in the background, then you're still in the film. When hearing all this, it just makes me think on how arrogant that Aaron is, that he thinks it's fine to say this sort of stuff. Imagine all the people that got started being extras, working their way up. Do you just say, well, if you tell the story on how you got big, the little steps don't count. Now, if Aaron questions this, I would say just go back and watch what he said and rethink it. One of the biggest things that annoyed me so much to even start writing this was the way that he treated Deoxy and not think on what was said. But the one thing you didn't do is post about the correction after Henry's stream. You made it look like Deoxy was lying when he clearly wasn't. Aaron has a huge following of people who would do almost anything for him. When you post to 1.2 million people, people are going to blindly believe you without going to watch the full video. You don't link the video so they can check it out for themselves to see if you're lying or not. When Aaron said that he was going to post on the comment that attacked Deoxy, telling them about their passion and their energy just fuels more and more. Don't praise them for this. The correct response should have been, I do not condone this. Please stop. If you go after him, then you are no fan of mine or JDF. That way you have said that you don't want this and maybe the outcome changes. If the person carries on, then you block them. Let's take this for example. If they found where Deoxy was and hurt him and said in the name of Aaron JDF and bad in the sun, then I'm pretty sure that Deoxy could sue you. And since you left your post up, so why didn't you take down the post? You left it up there for days, but Henry had to tell you to take it down. In my opinion, you wanted more hate to go after Deoxy. You wanted more people to see this post and be like, nah, fuck this guy, I'm going after him. Aaron says in the video that he doesn't see online as a real thing. Then I would like to ask you why you think that. The internet is a real thing and your actions have consequences. You have a lot of people going after Deoxy because you thought it would be the best thing to do is put him on blast. Where Deoxy released a video talking about the things you mentioned. He didn't send hate towards you or anything like that. 
but you saw this as a thing to send hate towards him. This is what boils my blood. Ever since Legend of the White Dragon was talked about, I've been curious to see what it's like. But since JDF has passed, all of Aaron's actions have made me not want to support this project and Aaron can't blame anyone but himself. It seems like he's lashing out, attacking people who don't support him or his vision. Anyone questioning him, he goes after, hence this entire video. It's made other people in the community not want to support this, and that's a real shame. It's not gonna stop the JDF supporters, believe me, it's not. But for some of the other Ranger community, they don't want to see JDF's last action due to Aaron's ego trip. And that to me is such a shame. So to wrap this long video up, then I have this to say. If Aaron wants an interview, then I won't be giving him one. I did think about it, but after seeing all the other live streams, I don't want to be here for hours trying to get small points across that to him don't make sense. I didn't like the whole thing that he would agree with a poll if people thought he was entitled. I didn't like that. He should have literally kept his own ground. The whole people pleasing thing, does annoy me. I know that we would both go the long way around certain topics, but I don't want to be sat here for hours looping in a conversation when he will just talk down to me like I'm a child. He wants the public to see him in good light, and after seeing what he did, I don't see him in that light whatsoever. Everything that I've talked about in this video are all public, so if you want to go check it out, I'll link all the videos in the description for you to see. I do wish that Legend of the White Dragon comes out and that it's a big hit and that people can love, laugh, and cry at what JDF created. I do wish Aaron the best and wish no ill will or anything towards him. So, what are your thoughts? Let me know down below in the comments. If you like this sort of video, like, favorite, comment, and subscribe, and I'll check you in the next video. I want to say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters, and I wanted to shout out Kimona Cat, Cura Sonata. Your help goes a long way to help support the channel, and if you want to help support the channel, the links to my Patreon and channel memberships are listed below in the description. チャンネル登録、高評価、お願いします。以下のリンクから商品を入手することができます。